Welcome back friends and fans to another Doc Plays video here with tons of support with the last video. No comments, but almost over a hundred views. I think last I checked, which was uh, just a couple minutes ago, it was just hitting a hundred views. So welcome back to part two of Car Mechanic Simulator. Here uh, I am so happy to bring to you that I do have most of the DLC. I think the only one I don't have is the mass uh, Aston Martin up here. I love these cars, but it just, just came out. But welcome back to such another great game. I'm so happy to give this back to you, friends. I don't know if the settings are a little loud. Um, music volume is all the way down. I think it's just because, uh, yeah, my OBS is going literally into the red, which was actually kind of crazy. But anyways, let's get back into our previous saves. So I think this is this is indeed it here. Um, so I don't remember exactly what we did last time, but we did get decently far, at least in a day, where we did uh, two or three calls or something like that. But anyways, here's back to our little shop here. Now let's go to our orders first off, and uh, let's see what we got. We got Griffin Tire, which is more than obviously a uh, a uh, little Mini Cooper, and then a Mayan. I have no idea what the hell this is. Um, def also not real. It looks, it resembles like an Audi to me, but based off the grill. Um, let's see, your poor brake performance. So let's go ahead and call this one in. Um, take order. And see what we can do with it. Let's see what the issues, we'll check the, check everything. Oh wow, man, this guy's got, this guy's got all sorts of little ram shamble on it. And everything. Oh wow, okay, so let's look at the car status here. Um, it just wants brake pads and so let's not highlight all those because I, uh, you know, I could probably just assume which ones they are because they're all in terrible condition. Uh, let's go into the lift and let's get you sorted out. Um, so it's a brake pad, so it wants us to uh, probably lift this up. Yeah, this this most definitely resembles an Audi, a little Swedish car company. Um, so let's get this up on the lift. So it's from Michigan. That's uh, and then let's get this all the way up so I can access the little wheel well here uh, a little bit easier. Uh, go here, take off this wheel, and out of play. Uh, I just actually had to repair my tire pretty easily. Uh, not repair it, just take it off the place and get a flat, which actually kind of sucks. Uh, let's actually kind of turn down the game volume. It's very loud. Um, there we go. Probably a little bit better. All right, so the brake caliper is that's broken. Definitely not this one. Uh, let's see, is it this one? Can I see through? Uh, I'd rather honestly just highlight it because I have no idea which ones they want me to replace, which are probably the real ones. If I'm being honest, um, so it wants us to replace these and then one that's way up here. All right, so let's get this going. Should we have extra? I can't remember. If we don't have fun. Very interesting. Okay, so it just wants us to replace the brake pads here, uh, which is easy. We don't need to fix the caliper. Oh, man, that brake pad's in 14% condition. Oh, boy. Um, and then let's take this wheel off here. And then, oh, we're still, we are still level 1. Okay, so this is not my, my original save, so I just wanted to make sure. Oh, okay. Brake disc also looks like to be. Oh no, this is the brake disc job. Okay, so it's the brake caliper here. It looks like because these look in terrible condition. So it's just the brake caliper, not even the, not even the uh, part itself, not even the caliper or the cylinder itself. Uh, looks like to be. I need to go up here, take this wheel off. So we started off with the wheel, obviously that we did not need to take off. All right, so let's take these little lug nuts off. Access to just a brake pad here. The brake caliper seems to be in decent condition. Um, yep, terrible condition. Uh, you can do part mounts, and I want to say I have brake pads that are in good condition. Nope, we do not. We need to access our little computer. Okay, computer, main shop, let's go. Um, brake. And we got a brake caliper, so we're going to buy. I can buy about two of those and then we get our brake disc ventilated. I can't remember which one you need, but I know we need at least a couple of these. So let's go ahead and buy about four of these. 
start buying a little bit in advance so we don't have to buy as we go. We can just have them in stock. There we go. There's that. Uh, break caliper. We can. Um, I don't, it does not really matter to me. Um, just as long as they're all in healthy condition. Uh, actually, let's. I'm gonna turn down my 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 sound just a little bit more. Um, just in before I put this little this little lug uh, this wheel back on with the lug nuts because it's super loud. Oh, uh, that feels like a little bit better. OBS still says I have a little bit loud, but you guys just have to let me know. Uh, I got a hundred views last time with the same settings, so um, regardless, I think. Whatever it is, it's doing it. I'm doing it right. <laughs> um, all right, so let's get this wheel back on because I don't even need to. Um, here, 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 and then let's go. Uh, part mount brake pads. So you gotta put these brake pads on, which you slip on, and the brake caliper you have to put together with another cylinder, and then screw it on, which keeps everything in place. Now, uh, these tires actually, you have to do it in like a specific position in real life. Um, so realistically, it would be uh, the top one first. Uh, you wouldn't actually even um, put it in all the way. You just hold it, uh, or to put it on there, I say finger tight, just as tight as your fingers can get it. And then you go down here, and then you go down here, or up here, and then to the side, and at the end you go there. That's supposed to like keep everything as even as possible, just the way I was taught. Um, decided that maybe some some real like uh, applications would work. This brake disc needs to be bought. It's just a regular brake disc, so we can just buy one of these, and then immediately get it, and then go here, part mount. Okay, and that just slips on brake pad. That the best condition that we have on there. Uh, actually, if we do, um, we can actually take uh, this off here because I don't want to give them the best. I want to give them back um, what they had. So these, he uh, this one here. I think actually a lot of these were already in terrible condition. Um, because I don't want to give them the best I have because I don't want to give other customers the worst I have. When only they need one replaced, I don't want to replace all of them. Um, this is really good. I know a lot of car people in my life so doing this has always been really interesting. Being like, oh yeah, I remember my, my grandfather teaching me that or my, my friend teaching me that. I always thought it's really, really interesting, cars at least. Uh, let's check on the status. Yep, everything's done. Um, let's check on the fluids. Usually, if they don't want the fluid, like in real life, a lot of mechanics will just replace, like give you the more fluid to begin with. Um, but it seems like if they don't want fluid, it means it's already full. Like it's already full, yeah. It's so, like this is full, this is full to the brim. That's actually kind of weird. That's not. It's not supposed to be that full. Um, and then especially like this brake servo. Yeah, like the max is supposed to be right here, and they they went way above. But anyways. Um, interesting. Okay, let's get you, uh, let's get you all sold. Finish order, about 305 CR. So, decent profit. Alright, let's look at our next order. This is a normal order. Do we get, oh, this one we get a bonus. Um, repair parts with minimum condition. So, we, let's take this one. This one has a, has a little bit of a bonus on it. Um, uh, this looks like a Renault to me, but... Uh, we'll just have to see. I always like getting in here and then like starting the engine and just, whoops. Um, because the sounds are terrible, so. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I'd rather just not, at least at the moment. Kind of makes me think that the sounds are a little bit in development, but regardless, still very, it feels like it's decently realistic. There's, in real life, there's a lot more chords and random crap all over the all over the place especially in trucks uh, there's a lot more a um, lot more like cords everywhere and it feels a little bit more complicated in real life but this has the very bare bone basics in it which makes it absolutely awesome um, okay so let's look at this uh, just the uh, ABS pump and brake calipers and the brake pads and the brake disc ventilated. Now I want to highlight those because I don't want to have to take off every single wheel and then put every single wheel back on when I most obviously have an answer to it right here. So let's take off uh, this little bad boy here. 
uh, automatic brake system, uh, which is really nice. But the difference between uh, having ABS and not having ABS is um, when you slam on the brakes. Oh, something happened. Um, when you absolutely just slam on the brakes. Uh, my car, especially, I have a 2008 uh, Toyota Corolla uh, in real life. It doesn't have ABS, so what we'll do is that the wheels will just stop. Um, and you will ultimately lose traction because the wheels just suddenly stop and your car is still flying forward. Uh, however, what the uh, what ABS provides is they um, what they provide is that they will take your brakes and make them pause. Like it's like it's uh, it makes it brake stop braking, brake stop braking, brake stop braking, brake stop braking. And it's like, it's really, really, really fast, but it, it ultimately makes you brake slower, but ultimately it's more safer. Uh, you see in a lot more of those advanced cars and more safer, expensive cars, of course. Um, but it slows down your braking, so you're not absolutely slamming on the brakes, It and you're not losing traction. And that, that was the point behind it. Let's get ABS. Uh, is it even in this? It is not. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to access my inventory, and I want to... Add this to my shopping list, and I go here. Open shopping list. Um, don't need any of this. Uh, ABS pump. Um, let's see here. I need. Where would it be? Um, electronics, probably. There we go. Uh, oh wow, that's expensive. ABS pumps are expensive, so I'm probably gonna get a lot of CR for this, if I'm being honest. Because well, of course, I have to make a. Have to make a profit. Um, so let's tap on this, click on that, add the good old ABS pump uh, back on there, and then ABS module um, here, 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 and then there's one more screw. No? Okay, never mind. Um, okay, so we got that done. We can go ahead and turn that off. Uh, brick calipers, so I want to say we can access that, all of that from just here. Um, so it's this tire over here that needs to come off first. Uh, so a bit of a this looks like an old Renault. Um, we got um, brake caliper, which we uh, just need to take this off. Um, it's probably these brake pads that are also in ter yeah, terrible condition. Uh, brake disc ventilated that needs to come off. Uh, then we can hop over here. Fly over onto this tire. Um, oh, that lug nut, that lug nut in that condition. Um, we give it some WD-40. Um, real life, it would look something like this. You have the lug nuts. You want uh, to take out the bottom one first, and then this top one will hold it in place. And then take that one out, and then of course you move the move the tire. Uh, brick caliper. Get this. Get this. Um, I think that's all we need to do for that. And then that's the calipers over here too. Let's see if I can do things much more realistically. You guys, so at least we got one car first. The taco, <laughs> yeah, actually bought this thing for me. Um, if you ever see anything unrealistic or want to see me doing something different, feel free to comment down below or just tell me, like, yo, like, uh, that's not actually how they do it. It's like, oh, damn, you know, tell me how they do do it. You know, and then I can even learn in real life. That would be awesome. Uh, let's put this caliper back on. All right, so we're now back onto the mounting mode. Uh, put this tire back. Um, and I think I mentioned in the last video that the number one thing I was worried about this game because like I wanted to get it, but I was kind of like, eh, should I? Because there's a lot of a, there's like a bit of a learning curve because if you don't know a lot about cars, it could be difficult for you. Um, I know that we only picked the normal button, but the uh, level of this like won't highlight the uh, things that you need. Like it's like, oh, well, where the hell is the fuel pump? It won't highlight it for you. Um, it will only, uh, it'll just kind of be like real life, I guess. And which is in reality, very cool. Um, sadly does not work for me since I still don't know that much. Um, in this version, you could just click on it. It'll highlight, highlight it for you as you guys see a lot. And it makes it very easy for, you know, a little someone like me to, to operate, you know? Um, let's see here. And let's go to mounting mode. There we go. And brake pads. We got a 100% I know still. 
uh, brick caliper. I don't know if we have another caliper. We do. Okay, sweet. Um, Okay, that is done. Put this tire back on. Uh, uh, oh, be out of order. Anyways, um, but yeah, no, it's very. I love this game. It's if I didn't know as much as I did, it would probably be a little bit more difficult. But at the same time, there's an easy mode, which just kind of tells you there is no set tutorial. Um, I'd have to say the number one thing that I had to teach myself was how to gauge the tires. Um, and a new, and the next job, I'll, I'll tell you guys how to do. Uh, tell, tell you guys how to do that. But these are all full, of course, because since it doesn't require me to um, to fill these up, they are completely filled to the top, which usually means that the customer did that. Uh, so let's get this little uh, car out of here. These are all done. Uh, finish order. That's almost what I. Yeah, we got about 400 in profit. I personally would not charge that little, but whatever. Um, probably the devs just trying to make it hard on me. There we go. And orders. Uh, this is a story order. Um, finally. And I'm going to change oil, drain refuel, and then other tasks. Hi, my name's Joanna. I was referred to my neighbor, car dealer. Here, your repair shop has been up and running since, since quite recently. If you do like a promising mechanic, it's almost annual servicing time. My body doesn't seem to have any problems, but I'll leave that for you to decide. Please change oil filters and fill the missing fluids. I haven't had time for that recently. John mentioned that there's a tapping in the camshaft. I've already done this. Um, <laughs> I want to say this is the same one I did last time, but I could totally be wrong. Uh, it feels like this is a, the same exact vehicle. Uh, that is interesting. But regardless, we're going to work on this. Um, so let's see what's wrong with it. We got a lot. Uh, part not discovered. Um, interesting. So, I mean, oh boy, that's, this is already so much. Okay, well, we got 14 minutes to do that before the video is spot over. So about halfway through right now. Um, oh boy. So, let's highlight all these. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, what the hell is up with those part missing? Um, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So we need to get some spark plugs. Um, let's actually sell what's in our inventory right now. Um, let's see. V. Um, let's see about that. Okay. Oh, we got a case too. Uh, except what do we get? We got oh a bunch of cards. Bonus 41 CR, nice. And bonus 50 experience. I don't know what is that. I have no idea what the hell that is. Uh, but anyways. Uh, awesome, great. And so we need a spark plug since we literally have nothing. Um, let's get in here so we could just uh, let's see ignition coil. Let's get in here just so I can add them to the wish list and buy everything at the same time. Let's just take everything apart. Um, take out this spark plug. And then we need to get rid of this timing cover, which I think needs to be. Uh, there you go, idle roller. Okay, take this out, we need to take the serpentine belt out, and then we take out this crankshaft pulley, which has one big old screw in it, uh, timing cover, which has a long screw and then two medium sized ones it looks like, oh no, just a bunch of them all over the place, there we go, and then we need to take out like this, almost this whole entire assembly just in here alone, wow. Uh, let's get this idle roller out. Oh, we need to get the serpentine belt out first. We pick up the idle roller, which is inverse from the other serpentine belts, but that is a okay. I uh, need to take out this cam gear here. It's a little bit rusty. It's gonna polish. You know, buy a new one. We can't polish it quite yet. Uh, we also need to get inside this engine cover here. Uh, oh, the ignition cord. No, forgot about those. And engine cover. Nice. Um, Gonna solve these. I'm curious as to what those other parts are. Hope they aren't gonna be like something I discover at the very, very end. And it's like, by the way, you know, you got all of this missing. Uh, I need to replace this camshaft here. And uh, just something that you guys see is that uh, I want to take out this camshaft here, but I can't because these camshaft caps are here. But as you can see, I can't take it off. You know, when I do this, it makes a little do sound. Um, because I want to take these off when they're on red. So that's just a huge hint to the, you guys who are either, uh, I know probably a, a bit of my audience is probably people looking up how to do stuff. Um, so if you are looking up how to do stuff or in your heart difficulty because you're an absolute madman, that is your problem is because you aren't, uh, you don't see something that you need to remove. 
Uh, that's 100% the case if you can't move something. It's just something else is in the way. Uh, this camera shaft now can move. Uh, what I forget? Let's see. What am I forgetting? Oh, you need to take off this side over here. That's timing cover here. Um, this one needs to slip there. Let's get these off. Be one hell of a car to put back together, if I'm being honest. Yep, need to take out this cam gear B, which will then ultimately lead to me being able to take this out. Yep, there we go. It is gone now. Uh, down here, that looks like the alternator. Oh no, this is the oil filter, and I can't get to that until later. Uh, okay. And then I need to take down these rubber bushings, uh, which I remember from my uh, own save, which is awesome. Somehow I can access them from all the way up here, um, interestingly enough. And then I think these front wheels are good for now. Yep. And then these back wheels are uh, wheel side on the lift. Oh yeah, so I need to raise this just a bit. Uh, let's see. Are we able to find? Are we able to find those missing parts? Part not discovered. Um, that's interesting. I'm kind of nervous about that. You got anything in the trunk? Uh, oh, okay. We just took out the entire trunk in like a millisecond. That is <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, all right. Let's get this. Let's get this tire out of here, and then we can get the brake caliper out. Then I can show you guys the readings on the uh, tire themselves, so it needs the brake pad in here. Take this out, caliper and everything. Just the brake pads. There we go. Don't need to mess with this side no more. Then we need to take out this ring classic. That's actually really cool. And then, I bet in the advanced mode, it doesn't just take that long. I bet it just. Excuse me. I bet it just is just like, hey, my car is my car is having issues. Um, fix, and then call it good. Uh, I don't remember these initially, so I have a feeling that these might be the missing parts I've been talking about. Um, let's see. Let's uh, get back here to this caliper. Just take out those bushings. I'm pretty sure I've done this vehicle already. I don't know if I did it on video though. But anyways, it's really simple. Um, just some of that engine stuff. Let's see, did we find those missing parts yet? Not yet. Very interesting. Okay, well anyways, let's raise this pick up so I can get underneath and take out the uh, oil right here. The oil filter 14 type. Uh, and I want to say that's it. But I do not know why or what else it's leading me to uh, check out. Which makes me interesting. Or interested at least. Um, the camshaft is fine. Don't know what else I need to be looking for. Um is Umi at part not discovered. Uh just drain oil. Other tasks. Oh, okay. Um Promising mechanic. Doesn't do that much for me. Hmm. That makes me. I seriously bet it is the. See, it's not the fuel pump. Fuel pump's in good condition. I was like the next thing I was gonna be worried about um, was the fuel pump. Let's see what I can access from underneath here. Oh, that's gotta be one of them right there. Is this uh, brake system? It makes me look around a little bit. Um, it's nice about this is that it's got a little bit of a dynamic uh, difficulty to it. So it's got like ramping uh, difficulty, um, but the install on this should be really easy. Yep, these brake pads definitely in terrible condition. Front wheel hub. Oh nope, this. Yep, this that part was in terrible condition as well. Um, let's see what's in here. Yep, that seems to be the issue. Or the um, part that I need to go up here. Oh, that's a suck though for someone who didn't know that. Um, we didn't know any of that, and just like, well, I don't know what to do, we just had to take apart the entire vehicle just to find it. Um, but I appreciate that, though. It made, made me look. It makes me feel like I'm I'm being challenged, you know? Um, uh, that's pretty dope. I bet those are the missing parts, though. Uh, definitely. That was, those were definitely the missing parts. Great. Um, well, let's get to the shopping list now. 
And let's remove, whoops, let's remove these two. Go to home and then inventory. Um, let's get uh, these, these, this, this, this. The oil filter needs to be replaced. Uh, and the rubber bushing. Need four of those. And let's see. Serpentine belt, two of these. Uh, a bunch of those. Belt tensioner. Timing covers and all these are good. Cam gear, cam shaft are all A okay. And let's see here. Let's scroll down. Buy a bunch of those. Okay, sweet. Let's go to the main shop and see what I need. I need two of these. Let's buy two of these and then brake pads. Let's go. Um, I think they needed four. Doesn't really matter to me. Uh, oil filter, which is buy one of those. Uh, rubber bushing, let's, we need four of those. Not that expensive. And serpentine belts, we got one of these. Um, idle roller, we need about two of these, I'm pretty sure. If we need more, let's buy more. Belt tensioner, definitely need one of those. Belt cam gear. And then we got spark plug. Oh, that's in the electrician area. Uh, spark plug. Two. And perfect. Well, let's get back to installing everything on this. Um, let's see, it's not what I wanted. There we go. And let's get into install mode. So this should be a really simple putting back together. Put this brake caliper back on. Simple does it. Oh yeah. S uh, standard tire. Oh yeah. Okay, try to try to read those. Um, second here I'm gonna access my inventory first so these tires um let's see do i not can i not access these yep okay so uh no i do not want to do that so uh, there's a uh, going to the shop you go into the shop here and you're like oh i need to buy some tires um simplest thing to do is just um well first what you want to do is that you would go to this tool right here this tire changer and you'd actually take it off i don't want to do that because it would add a bunch of extra steps uh and then you just press spacebar on it just to add it to your to your shopping list um if you go to tire shop and you're like uh i need a standard tire and this is just basic standard standard tire so you'd want your width to match um you'd want your width to match the bigger number here and then you'd want your uh profile to match your um, your your middle number here and then the size would be your the last number at the very end I think R means rigid I want to say I already taught you guys that but I honestly cannot remember but if I haven't I know that that was the number one thing that I struggled with was like how what is what is how do I get a tire um, that was honestly before I understood what um, the shopping list was as well but Fortunately, I had uh, I had the internet at my hands and it taught me how, which was great. Being honest, um, never had a, a time like that where it really came to me like that, except when I was down here. Uh, but anyway, this is install is up and I can uh, finish up the video for you guys. Yeah, nice little like support. I know you guys love the last video, which is great to see. I am I am loving this game too. It is so great, and I wish to see it improve though as well. Um, I don't know how much they plan on it, but I know that the, I think there's a new one that comes out every year. And I want to get further too. I know there's some really cool like salvaging stuff and whatnot. So, and I'm happy, and I'm always happy to see that kind of stuff. Very tired. One day. And last tire. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go over here. Add our brake pad, a newer one, and our brake caliper. Good condition, there we go, there we go. And adding the tire back on. There we go, let's go to the start pattern. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. And I think we have only one tire left. Oh, it's already on. Sweet. Uh, let's get these rubber bushings back in here. The newer ones, put a long screw in there. And another one over here. Uh, there we go. And we have two more plants. I don't know if it'll allow me to access them. It totally should, though. There we go. Um, we have a tiny little screw that goes in those. And then 
There you go. Rubber bushing. There you go. And I think that's it. But all I can do from the bottom. Oh, actually, I need to do the oil. Uh, let's see here, here. Oil filter. Put the bad boy back on. And then just drop this bad boy. And access the engine. Uh, the engine, and then I need to put all that camshaft kind of stuff back in. Um, let's go into part mountain mode, put the camshaft back in here. Oh, whoops, that is the old one that I had forgotten to uh, wish list, I think. Uh, there we go. Um, go here, go to all, go to camshaft, and then go to car parts, tab, camshaft. One of these, very expensive. Um, and then, this, oops, minus, get in here. Uh, car mount mode, camshaft, so let's add that. And then, let's put the caps back on. In good condition. This engine is looking a lot better already. And let's go zoom in here, put these bad boys back in. And then, let's put our camshaft more the second to last and then our very last one right on over here uh there you go and then put these two in and then put the cover back on the head cover anyways oh eight screws here and got about almost half of them down and we also have to do oil and all the fluids which is standard so i don't really mind and we have to put the spark plugs in here there we go new spark plugs that we had to buy for this poor folk who was I don't see everything was breaking and so in real life this would be like two thousand dollars like honestly god like not even getting it would be crazy especially if they get have to get that far into the engine with all these parts being replaced um okay sweet and then we need to get over here let's just add this side first because there's less over here um there we go and then the timing cover with six screws. Or just five actually, never mind. Put this back in. And we're almost done here, folks. Let's go over here. And we got an item roller that we have to put back on first. There we go. And then we can put our cam gear back on. And then we have our serpentine belts, which I hope we bought. Yep, we sure did. Uh, good army for that. <laughs> uh, we got our belt tensioner, and that will tighten our, our belt, which is awesome. Or keep it tensioned, rather. Put the cover back on. We got four screws. Uh, two really long ones and two really short ones. Boom. Easy does it. And pink shift pulley. Put this back on with one big old screw in it. And we got a uh, serpentine belt. Put that back on since we didn't need to replace it wasn't the issue and i'm mostly worried about making a profit here so i'm gonna buy a bunch of extra stuff and plus it was in pretty good condition uh, so let's check the car status everything is finished uh we need to drain oil and other tasks now um so let's do all this stuff first so windshield wiper fluid and whatnot uh good. Right, unmount to take off the cap then let's refuel this bad boy Go, almost to the top, and it's all color coded, which is awesome too. There you go, that's about the healthy amount. Um, I think it actually wanted me to drain it all. So I'm not. Uh, other tasks. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, drain old and refuel is new. Okay, and then so we get to. Whoops, not that. Get to additional tools, drain tool, and then take everything out of this. Um, bada bing, bada boom. All finished. Take off the cap because apparently he uh, doesn't do that. <laughs> and we gotta refill this. There we go. Some cool ones for the engine to keep things cool. Um, I see your uh, radiator over to the right, so if you think I'd have to fill it into that. Um, I, think that's, I think that's the empty amount right there. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. I don't have to put it into that because I've had to put it in there in the past. Uh, okay, and then we have our power steering reservoir. There we go. Got to empty this out. Is that. Oh man, that was very full. Never mind. Uh, I'm out. Power steam reservoir cap. 
And then for these bad boys in here, and we get to fill it up to the max, which is not the first line, but is indeed the second more solid line. Which there it is. And then um, go, that's done. And then here's the brick servo. Brick tool. Drain it. There's not that much in there. Um, maybe there is. Jeez. Does not look like there should be that much in there. But anyways, let's go this. I, I literally can't see how much is in there. Um, but I'll just fill it up past a little bit past where it's supposed to be. Um, so let's slow down. One, two, three. There we go. About right there. Uh, and then we need to raise this. And then we need to put move equipment. Uh, need to put this under car lift B or A. So there we go. And then we need to use equipment, so then all the oil will come out, which there was almost none in there. Oh my god. And then put this bad boy back down, and then we have the oil right there. Uh, there you go, oil for the plug. And then we, we do this, and then we wait for the thing to... Because as you uh, get to the maximum, it lowers it a little bit. Like you'll see here, just to see, Yeah, there we go. Um, it'll lower it, so I'll go about maybe two or three seconds past that. And if I really want to test that out, which I know I, I can trust my ability to do so. Uh, you go here, you find a little dipstick, which comes on every engine. Uh, I look at it, and you see down at the bottom left, there's max in the top right. Kind of hard to see. Best in this position here, you see min, which is minimum. Um, so I don't want it all the way to the top, but this is a really good position, and I don't thought it was black, but that might just, might have been me. Now let's check the status of this car now, so drain oil, yep, other tasks, all finished up, and uh, only 2,000 CR for that. I did not get that much bonus, uh, or that much, um, any kind of, any kind of profit. Um, oh, whoops. Yep, uh, I saw that in my inventory. I forgot to add the uh, window, so he just doesn't have a window anymore. Um, that might have been bad when I tried to open his trunk, but it just took the trunk off. Um, there we go. Let's go to our status. Uh, finish order. And boom. Oh, well, okay, so I think we get a little bit more profit. We get about 2,000 profit. That's kind of what I was thinking we should get. But anyways... If you guys like the video, please consider dropping a like or leaving a comment saying that you like it. That support keeps me going, so I really appreciate you guys for doing that. Um, if you'd like to see something different, feel free to either, you know, just kind of drop a comment or even join the Discord and just DM me like, Hey bro, I want to see this or this or this game or whatever. Like, I do not mind whatsoever. And I even have some new series coming up. I'm saving up some money for some of the new games that are coming out. Some new city builders I know people are crazy about. So you guys will see that very soon and if you're new here and you like the channel please consider subscribing it means so much to me building up this youtube channel from 30 which what it was a year ago and then 100 now it means so much to me so i thank you guys so much for the support and well i see you guys next time Bye bye